The programs that were used to create this video are Camtasia Studio 5 and Microsoft Windows Movie Maker. Hello and welcome to XNA Paddles tutorial number 4. In this tutorial we're going to cover the menu screen and possibly the text class. Okay, now the menu screen will be very simple. It will have text, a list of text that will be displayed on the screen and they can perform an action when you press enter on them. And we will have three menu items. One, the first one is start or begin game. And when you press enter on that, it will load the game screen to the screen manager and change the game state to play. The second option will be help menu entry and this is optional you don't need that and when we press enter we'll have a modified menu screen that will display help info. For the next game we'll discuss how to have a help screen and individual screens for everything. And finally, we'll have an exit menu entry that will just quit the program. Okay, so now we need to add a sprite font. And what a sprite font does is it allows us to add text to our game. And in order to add the sprite font, we right click content, go to add new item and it's a sprite font. Now I'm going to call it basic. And this is what it looks like before we edit it. As you see font name is called basic but we don't have a font called basic. So we need to modify that line. It's what you basically need to know is you replace a font name with a specific font name that's installed on your computer, a specific size for the font, the spacing, I, I never modify that, style, and that's all you really need to modify. I'm going to replace uh, font name basic to Trebuchet MS and that's included in Windows 2000 or greater and I'm going to leave the size and the spacing like it is oh, I changed spacing to 2 but it's already no nope. I changed it to 2 so now that we have a sprite font we are ready to modify the menu screen so we can finally build our menu screen class and I'm going to bring up the tutorial here. Okay, the menu screen will have a enumerated variable called menu state, which will hold if we're in a menu or help state. Then we need to create an object of that called M state, and it is initialized to main, menu state dot main an integer variable called selection to hold the current selected menu entry that will hold which item we are currently highlighted on so 0 is the top one, 0 is a play game one 1 is the middle help if you choose to have that and 2 is the exit option then we need an update and draw methods which will have a game time parameter in the update and we'll add two regions to this update method it's a main region and a help region and the update method is public void draw method is public void as well no parameter and two regions help and main so let's go ahead and build it in our class so above the class we need public enum
menu state uh, main or menu comma help I like to say main okay now we need an object of that which will be initialized to main menu state m state is equal to menu state dot main and now we need an int selection now we need an update and draw update is public void update game time after we press the E we'll have that rectangle add that using game time and we will have two regions for this a main region and a help region okay and I'm gonna add a comment here code to update when we are in the main area code to draw when we are in the help area okay so now we'll go into the text class we have some time left so let me clear up my papers and go to the text class control s to save that and double click text.cs to open it up now we'll go back to the text tutorial and view what we need to do here so instead of making a mess with draw string calls and list of strings, positions, color, and other statistics for text, we are going to create a text class to handle all this for us. That way all we need is a list of text. Now use the following bullets to help build a class. For variables we need a text of type string, possession of vector2, three color objects a color b color and s color a color holds the current color of the text active color b color holds the basic color of the text the non-selected item and s color holds the selected color of the item now we need a position this is a capital P property that gets and sets the position vector with access as public the Position property has an axis of public. Now we need a bool variable called active and it is initially set to false. This will identify if our text is active, which means if it's selected by our menu screen. And an active property with capital A that will get and set the text activation and this property is also set to public now a constructor will pass a string and a vector 2 and the string will hold what we want the text to say and the vector 2 will hold the position we initialize it with a B color of black and an S color of yellow public void update will implement later and public void draw we will have a sprite batch parameter and we'll implement that later as well so let's go ahead and go back to our coding and let's start building the text class